How The Rock Spent A Quarter Billion Dollars The net worth of Dwayne The Rock Johnson is impressive $320 million. But have you ever imagined, how and where does the big guy spends that kind of cash? America's favorite big boy may live a lavish lifestyle of expensive cars, fancy custom-made suits, and an impressive collection of wristwatches. Which are worth more than our rent but he's also an amazingly generous soul who likes to give back to his family, his co-workers and the community. Dwayne Johnson first became famous during his days as a professional wrestler with the WWE way back in the 90s. He entered Hollywood with his debut film, The Mommy Returns in 2001. That was just the beginning of his now successful career. It was only a matter of time before The Rock's bank account was as big as his muscles. A recent report revealed that between June of 2017 and June of 2018, films like Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, helped earn Johnson a staggering $124 million in just a year, which also made him the highest paid actor. When it comes to spending the money, he looks no further than his family. It's no secret that Dwayne is a big teddy bear when it comes to his family. The actor posted about his daughter, Simone on her 18th birthday. He also posted an adorable photo of him having a tea party with his three-year-old daughter. But his generosity doesn't stop there. Johnson called his father, Rocky Johnson, and told him he was going to buy him a house anywhere he wanted. He made the same gesture to his mother the previous Christmas. In 2015, Johnson gifted a replica of his $60,000 custom-made Ford F-150 to his uncle, pro wrestler Tonga Fifita. In 2018, he gifted the same truck to his stunt double, Tano I. Reed, who also happens to be his cousin. The next thing he spends his money on is his collection of flashy cars. His F-150 isn't the only truck Johnson loves, he's got himself a bright blue Hennessy Velociraptor. The performance vehicle boasts of a 278 horsepower V8 engine and can go from 0 to 60 in just 4.1 seconds. This bad boy costs him $150,000. He also owns a shiny Pagani Huayra which he showed at the premiere of his HBO show Ballers. The Italian-made roadster cost him a jaw-dropping $1.3 million. Johnson's V12 6.5-litre engine, Rolls-Royce Wraith. This classy 950 horsepower beauty is a real bargain at just $332,000. Johnson once bought himself a 950 horsepower Ferrari La Ferrari worth $1.5 million. But he couldn't fit his large frame inside the tiny sports car and he eventually had to give it up. The Rock also owns many houses, out of which is his $4.5 million Florida mansion. The mansion has a custom home gym that set him back a whopping $300,000. At the center of the pricey home, the gym is a $2,000 Star Trek, multifunctional trainer machine. He's also got a full set of Iron Grip brand dumbbells and bars, each costing several hundred. A $700 Kabuki Transformer Squat Bar, a full set of weight machines by hammer strings that average around 3 grand a piece, pre-core fitness cardio machines that run as much as 9 grand, Working out isn't the only method Dwayne Johnson uses to look and feel his best. Bet you didn't know the hulked out movie star owns a collection of flashy designer wristwatches worth tens of thousands. Rolexes are his favorite and he grew up always wanting to own one. He bought his first in his early days as a high profile wrestler for $35,000. 
One Rolex he owns now, a water sporting model called the Seedweller which retails at $14,600. He also loves Italian-made Panerai Lumina watches and has had two of them. He wore a Panerai Lumina submersible in Fast and Furious 5 which was almost $12,000. The Rock also likes to splurge on custom and tailor-made suits. At the 2016 Golden Globes, he wore a wine-colored velvet tuxedo. At the 2016 Oscars, he wore a deep blue suit with charcoal accents. In 2018, he was spotted in a crushed velvet suit at the Golden Globes. Johnson also reinvested in his career by founding the Seven Bucks Productions. Seven Bucks Productions is a multi-platform production company pioneering original content for television. Film, Emerging Technologies, and Digital Networks. This production company helped produce Johnson's HBO series Ballers, as well as several of his recent films, including Skyscraper which raked in over $300 million at the box office rampage, which earned $420 million, and the 2017 Jumanji sequel, Welcome to the Jungle, a film that brought in close to $1 billion at the box office. As for the name of the production company, well, there's a story behind that. Johnson says that back in 1995, after giving up on aspirations to be a pro football player and before landing his job as a wrestler with the WWE, he emptied his pockets and all he had was seven bucks. The name serves as a reminder of his past and as a source of continuing motivation.